There's got to be something that I've never experienced that I'm about to. There's got to be something that happens to you when you're out there. Something in the solitude and the serenity. And I want to know. I want to know what this is about. I want to know why people risk broken collarbones, risk being stranded, risk seeing wolves. This is, this is a whole new world for me. Hi, I'm Annalise Cleopatra. I'm from Miami, Florida, and I moved all the way across the country looking to figure out who I am outside of everything I ever knew. This summer, I'm taking on something totally out of my comfort zone. I'm going bikepacking for a week in Oregon's backcountry to meet my new mentor, Mother Nature. Okay. And I've cool. never camped or mountain biked before, so I've got a lot to learn. You ready? What's the worst that could happen? And it's so nice out here. I can't believe you talked me into doing this, girl. <laughs> Surprise. That's an evil laugh. This is day. So how long is this trip? Um, I think it's 10 miles total. Mm -hmm. And mostly uphill. Okay. She's my rock, my safe space, and my friend. I tricked her into coming along for this yeah. ride. Is that serious, huh? <laughs> she doesn't know how to bikepack either. Oh gosh. So we're gonna have to learn yeah. together. <laughs> Wait, we're going over here? Yeah. Okay. This is so foreign to me. I don't even know how to use my body. I don't know what to put in my body. I'm an anxious person, generally. Like, uh, the past two years, I've gone to the emergency room twice for anxiety attacks. They're like, no, there's, there's nothing wrong with you. And I'm like, listen, you don't understand. I'm dying, like I'm dying right now. We made it, it's over. Well, this one, really we just started actually. Damn. That's a pretty bike. Brooklyn Bell is a super badass pro biker and she's based here in the Northwest. She didn't even know my name when I DM'd her on Instagram to see if she'd lead Dan on this crazy trip. But she really wants to see more of us in the outdoors. So, here we are. So it's, it's day one. We made it, we drove out here. Set up a tent. Oh, oops, sorry. Here, hold that. Set up the tent again. <laughs> It should feel kind of like an orange. Like if we were to, it's like firm, but like a little bit soft. A little cushy. Yeah. This is a little harder than a, this is like an unripened orange. I'm really excited. I'm not as scared as I was. I think I'm ready. Here. <laughs> Yours is much more flimsy. <laughs> I just wake up every day worrying about everything all the time. I haven't done this in like a year. Been all messed up inside. The doctor did tell me, he said, you have anxiety, so you need to exercise at least 30 minutes a day. On the leg, let's go. <laughs> Taking a photo? No. People can do great things with support. And I think that's what's gonna get us through this, is supporting each other, trusting each other, and uplifting each other. 
Last night, I got to do some star photography. I did like a time lapse of Saturn setting, which is like awesome because I'm in my Saturn return and I'm so happy. Listen, listen, okay? If you've never slept outside, you have to try it. It's so, so peaceful and not at all as hard as I told myself it was gonna be. There's something really special about just carrying the bare necessities and listening to all the stories the trees have to tell. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I like had to, you know, I pooped outside yesterday for the first time. It was, it was fine, you can just bury it. You got it. This elevation's really getting to my lungs. Have a little piece. I'm gonna puke if I dry that. No oxygen. I was, I was talking to Brooklyn last night, mm -hmm. and I told her one of my biggest issues is saying I can't and knowing when to stop. So we met up with the other girls. We talked to them about how Day was feeling, and decided that it was best for her to go back with them for the rest of the day. Brooklyn and I kept riding. Whatever we get done, I'm gonna be so proud of what my body is capable of doing and what we've accomplished. But I'm not trying to like crush it. Like I don't wanna crush anything. I just wanna heal things. I wanna I wanna learn, I wanna experience it. I don't wanna blow past it to like set an arbitrary goal or distance. That's not the best use of my energy and soul. Like, I'm sure in the future, I'll look at it and be like, oh, wow, like, that was great. I did that. Yesterday, all my energy was focused on, like, not dying or falling off a cliff to really, like, have fun or enjoy the scenery. It was really technical, and I just really didn't want to fall on those rocks. Like, that, it just, no, man. I, ugh, it just, it was scary. My expectations for my journey are so wildly unrealistic. But unrealistic dreams are the ones that take you places. Your mother called. I ain't here for my daughter in two days, so I just call in to see what's going on. Yeah, like that. Uh -huh. She tell me she doing this thing, and she she go ride 300 miles, and there gonna be bears and cougars and thing, and now she ain't gonna call me. The climb, I was so anxious and scared of it. I, f I definitely feel jealous of how easy Brooklyn makes things look. I wish I had that sort of grace. I, it's ridiculous to compare myself to her because she's literally a professional athlete, but it's a humbling experience. It was really hard but I knew it was gonna be hard. So I just didn't allow myself to be surprised or discouraged by that. And I 
to listen to my soca music the whole time. Just the beats, the drums really help me keep going. I had a lot of support and I was able to go pretty far. And it feels really, really good. Last morning. Oh, it's terrible out here. Morning. Good morning. I've been waiting for this call. <laughs> I know. You made the climb. Yes, I made the climb. All right. All right. Okay, baby. <laughs> Guess what else? What? I went even further. Yesterday was my longest day. We did almost 30 miles. Any cool girls or the end or anything like that? No, not yet. The berry bears. Raspberry bear. Huckleberry bear. Blackberry bear. So what did I find out there? Friendship, trust, peace, relief, stars, and the audacity to accept myself. I found out that I could fly down muddy hills in the rain, pedal through fear, support my friends and let them support me and sleep under a setting Saturn. I found that fear gives way to beauty when you lean in and accept the uncertainty. I found that the same release of control that lets me flow like water through this landscape works in the rest of life. And if I ever need a reminder, the river, the waterfalls, and the trees are all there, just waiting for me.